Okay, we're ready? I'm ready. Here we go. You started, take it off. Delightful, Mr. Pete. Um, it was Mr. Lee. There we are. There That's we are. your four chords. A. When you say B. four chords, you mean three chords. Three right? chords. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that chord called again? This is like a B minor 11, 9, 11. That's one. Something. B minor 11, 9, 5, 6, 1. 4, four 1, 3, uh, 2, 1. Right. And you count in 1, 2, 3, go. 1, 2, 3, go. Yeah. Uh, there's no reason for this video at all other than um, a big shipment of GNL guitars just arrived. Oh. It's their 40th anniversary this year. Can you believe that? Um, That's and crazy. And although the core models haven't changed a lot, there's some great new colours, some lovely looking guitars. And we love these guitars, so yes. we thought we'd just pick out. Yeah, look, I mean, ah. I don't. The, the winners are definitely the the sublime green. Yeah, not slime, this, sublime. This kind of uh, tangerine, tangerine orange. orange metallic thing. This um, though, this though. Not much to tell you about GNL that you don't already know. Um, started by Leo Fender with his. Um, Longtime friend and associate George Fullerton, uh, G for George, L for Leo, uh, make guitars out of Fullerton in California, um, and they're beautiful. Oh. They're beautiful. They're kind of uh, you can you can kind of see what Leo's background was. You can see the, the fenderiness of his background, uh, but there's a, quite a bit of stuff here. You know, the, the pickups, perhaps particularly pickups and, and bridges and electronics, was really where G and L kind of did go off on its own thing so we've got Cinnamon here the, the two the shapes that pete and i've got is the asat yeah. okay the shape as you can see is telecaster ish yeah. uh, the edges are a little bit more rolled than a telecaster i think the body depth is a tiny bit thinner has the tummy cut which you don't normally get on a telecaster oh, no, um but other, other than that it's it's pretty similar uh, there are three versions of an asat one called the classic which has two of the mfd single coil pickups on it mm -hmm. one called the blues boy which is the one pete's got both the classic and the blues boy have got that very traditional um, T style bridge. Yeah. Uh, or you can have the ASAT special, which is my favourite one. It's also the one that Pete owns. Oh, I love, I love, I love uh, it. It's and such this, a good guitar. This has the jumbo 
MFD pickups in it, yeah. and the saddle lock bridge. So a, a different, higher mass. Now explain to me uh, the uh, the the MFD pickups, Lee, because when you look at them, people look at them and go, well, you know, what's the what is it? So all, Leo was uh, a pickup pioneer. Pickup pioneer. Uh, pickup pioneer. Um, and I don't think there's a right or a wrong with pickups. You know, there's many different approaches to pickups from single coils to humbuckers, active versus passive, uh, soap bars. The Fishman um, things yeah, now, fish, those exactly. fluence things. So and... there's no real right or wrong. There's only what you like. Uh, there's a great video from Dave McLaren at GNL where he explains... Um, exactly how a, an mfd pickup is different but it's yeah. it, my the, my layman's terms on it it just kind of feels like a a fatter version of a normal single coil yeah. pickup fat and hotter um so pete whiz through some yeah, tones no, just, on your blues boy. i just wanted to show you before we before i do that i just wanted to show you that you get a certificate so you get with these uh bulletin, that has got all the specs so swamp as honey burst six uh, box steels six saddles curly dome to top say. chrome and rear contour and you get the neck profile and you get the the 12th fret and this all the stuff and jumbo frets and pearl inlays and you get all the stuff and then you get oh. your certificate. Do you get some shares. Is that a share certificate? Yeah. You get <laughs> this some is like shares a bond. Isn't it? <laughs> That's a bond signed from uh, Mrs. Leo Fender, from Phyllis Fender, signed this. Um, well, so I love, I love that. Uh, you get a proper certificate with yeah. it. So GNL. Uh, Sorry. Let, uh, do some playing, Pete, and we'll talk <laughs> yeah. a little bit more about GNL in a minute. If you okay. Don't know. So this is the blues boy with the humbugger in the neck. And beautiful honey purse. Look at that. I love it. It's nice. It's a it's a different. It's a step away from their normal pickup sound and the normal sound of the A set that I've got mm. because I've got the MFD, the fat, the fat MFD on it. So this is, it seems a little bit unfamiliar to me when I'm playing this guitar. Do you know what I mean? Uh, here is the uh, two pickups together. <laughs> Pickup, which, which is the uh, MFD pickup, so they're much more output than that one. Right. Let's try some uh, Dane. Woo! Nice, I had Dane on the front. Can you hear what I mean? This, yeah, this it's, much, it's almost more, it's a weird, like more output out the back pickup than yeah, there is out the humbucker. Is, yeah. In the middle. That is blues boy. That's what it is, isn't <laughs> it? Tone, volume, and so, you've got classic six or three saddles on that guitar. Six, I can't see from it. yeah. So it's, so, it's yeah, like so a, it's a sort a, of a, a modern telly bridge. Yeah, isn't so it? it's got six uh, saddles, so you can individually adjust them. You know, with the it's just a modern telly. So it's beautiful. Uh, Pete and I went to the GNL factory in 2019, and uh, it's a pretty small factory. What it did is. you say there were like 25, 30 people working there? Maybe, yeah, maybe a bit more, maybe, 30, 40. Oh, maybe um, that, that many? I don't think there was that many. Maybe. Was there? Yeah. maybe. And pricing on GNL is pretty similar to Fender American. So one of these guitars nice. is going to cost you something like an American Pro would cost. Yeah. Um, so I don't necessarily, I just think GNL is just a different twist. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of, I think when, when people first see GNL, you're, you're, 
the, the idea is you have to make a decision. Do I have a Fender or do I have a GNL? Which one's better? But I, I kind of think they're different enough to go, actually, if you've already got a telly and you like it, 100%. and maybe you fancy almost like a, another one, well, rather than just getting another one that's the same, why not get a, an ASAT or something? It's a bit of a I, twist. I think they um, are a, a wonderful uh, guitar yeah. to add to your collection, yeah. whether you need a, a Strat style or a telly style guitar. So the ASAT special is, is my favorite. It's, it was the first one that came out from the ASAT. So the Blues Boy and the Classic are sort of... Uh, Blues Boy! Are just, I think, were driven more by customer demand. So I read a book... Uh, uh, that George Fullerton wrote and Hang he on. said that you read a book yeah it mainly had pictures in it in <laughs> okay, <fairness>. good, no. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they kind of said you know Leo didn't want to do Fender kind of versions if you like he wanted to do his own thing so the ASAT special came out first which as you can see is quite different to a, a, a Telecaster uh, but customer demand at the time this is in the 80s where i think it's generally accepted that fender wasn't going through a great period of time the demand from customers and dealers were for gnl to just make more conventional strat and telly yeah. styles which is where things like the classic uh, and the asat came out but the, sorry the classic and the blues boy but the as i said the asat special is is the sort of original one so it's very oh. it's very fat it's not you know I want to say almost more like having a, a telly with P90s on it or something. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. oh. It's got a lovely jangle on that bridge yeah. pickup. That's no pedals for all you pedal haters out there. It's just the guitar, straight into an amp. Light speed. Oh, it's good. It's good. Um, so yeah, that's an ASAT special. It's definitely my favorite of all GNL guitars. Um, Comes with a nice gig bag, which I think Pete has got downstairs to show you. Oh, there it is. Slightly obscured by the stand. Now we can see it. Beautiful. Um, and as I said, it's price-wise, it's 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 less than something like an American Original Series, uh, more like American Pro. Uh, lots of options on uh, the, yeah. the the sort of GNL Fullerton range. So you've got you know maple boards. You've got this. Uh, Caribbean rosewood board on Pete's one. You've got ash and all the bodies, different colours, pit guard colours, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So I'd anyway. highly recommend to check the the special out with the with the pickups on it. There, you know, this is kind of this is very more more traditional uh, T style territory. But if you want something that's a little bit extra, check the special out. Anyway, I think we should move on. I yeah. want to play some of this slightly yes. green stuff behind me. Um, that means it makes a bit This is called a uh, Blue Burst, um, uh, surprisingly. <laughs> and my, I have one here which has the 1980 to 2020 stamp on it. So like the 40th anniversary kind of stamp. And it's CLF2003074 if you're interested. But we got lots of GNL oh, guitars yeah. and stuff. Oh yeah, this one here if you're interested. This Look one is CLF1911. Where are we going? Zero, oh, Two, I'll say that again. Uh, <laughs> this this one is CLF one nine one one zero eight two. And if you look on here as well, I mean, it's not part of the spec as such, but look at a little oh, bit of flaming flame. neck. Flaming neck. Yeah, they they do have some good wood. We saw their wood in there, didn't we, Lee? Now, Mr. <laughs> Beat, you have the Legacy HSS, which I don't think we stocked last year i might be wrong no, I but so, so legacy is just the pretty much the straight up you know strat i think i mentioned before that again you know uh, leo didn't really want to do the whole head-to-head -head with fender thing so his first um guitars that were strat ish were things like the skyhawk s500 um and they had a slightly different Skyhawk. body shape different pickups all that kind of vibe on it and then again customer demand was look leo can you just make us a strat please and so um <laughs> you know shapes much more you know like this one was born and, and yeah it's a legacy 
you know, three single coil guitars. I don't even think they're MFD, are they? No, Pete? these are these are Nico fives. Right on here, so just uh, still GNLs. Um, pretty on. much, it's a straight up. Uh, maybe that particular guitar is one where you'd be going, do I want a Strat or do I want a Legacy? Because well, they're pretty similar. Different and then, trim system, isn't and it? And then it, the, this is the cool thing about the GNL guitars. They've got a bass and a treble instead. You see, so it's not, it's not tone and tone. It should really say treble and bass do. on here, but. Um, uh, Anyway, such a good color, isn't it? Isn't it great? Look at that. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot, man. Yeah, That's it, it, that is a great color. Yeah, it's so now. And this is this has got the uh, 1980 to 2020 as well on it on this one here. So, yeah, mine too. and it signature uh, uh, serial number is uh, CLF, of course, uh, 2006. Now, shut up and play. Good sound. Very, uh, it's very spanky. Very spanky. No pedals. And a really lovely uh, neck satin finished here with the roll fingerboards on it. Just feels delicious. Nine and a half inch radius and jumbo frets. Uh, let's go to the middle and the uh, uh, neck. Oh, there you go. Isn't it? Oh, oops, illegal. Oh, and the trim system, of course, as well. It's just the fulcrum trim is, I love them. They are great two positions. They are really, really good uh, trim system. You know what I mean? And the uh, reverse round middle. Interestingly, middle, again, top. another thing that you know Leo can take some credit for. You know, yeah. he, he was putting the dual fulcrum trim onto his guitars before Fender were putting them on theirs. Yeah, well, um, he is the, Mr. Fender. So, end of the day, you know. So, here we go. Here's the middle position. <laughs> I like that. Uh, and middle great. and a bridge. Isn't is it interesting hot, hot, hot. that that MFD, that guitar would not sound uh, as stratty if it had the MFD pickups in it? No, not at all. Not at uh, all. And that's so S five hundred. Um, is in the GNL range, which, yeah. which will look exactly the same as that, except it will have the MFD pickups in it. And it's just, it hasn't got the spank. It's it's a fatter, fuller, hotter, almost a- Fatter, fuller, hotter. Fatter, fuller, hotter. So let me uh, go on uh, middle and bridge position. And that's where this little switch knob a here uh, splits the coil of the humbugger. Mm. So like this. And of course it only works when you are in in that position because it doesn't do anything on the two single chords, so. So that's literally like having, you know, it's like literally having you, like two. You've got to stop playing John Mayer on that and play more <laughs> Def Leppard or yeah, something. Yeah, but I haven't put any gain on it yet, oh. Lee. Back position. Oh, that's hot, man. It's hot. Split it. Dane. Split with the origin effects on top. Full hamburger. What's the most 80s uh, chord you know for distortion? I don't know, is it just like... Could is it not just... <laughs> Let's oh. get delay on. Oh. 
Let's try That's, the, uh... That is full cat amongst the pigeons because now I always thought if I wanted a hot rodded strat, I might look at Charvel or something like that. But I don't know now. I think I might go. That and legacy it... HSS in that color looks wicked. It does. It really does. <laughs> And this is just two overdrive pedals on top of each other. It's not like... And watch the uh, neck pick up. Middle. To see. It's great with that. Lot sustain. Good. So. <laughs> I like up, it, man. Up here. This is great. We have uh, the very brilliantly named Comanche. Now, you're going to look at this guitar and go, what's wrong with those pickups? I love so it. So this is Leo experimenting with ways to make single coil pickups stop humming. That sort of 60 cycle hum that you get, especially when you use distortion. So what he's done here is he's split, uh, he's managed to wire sort of, if you like, two separate coils and positioned them in such a way that you make them hum cancelling, but still sound more single coily than humbuckery. Uh, so... I've put two distortion pedals on here. There's still a tiny bit of noise. But I guess, I guess yeah. the only way I can compare this is to just do this. Back. Oh yeah. So that's how much noise you'd get on a normal single coil guitar. And then, so you can see, so the, the idea of the, 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 the single, the Splitting the coils to get the uh, hum cancelling is definitely working. Yeah, that's. Oh, it. yeah. That's but if we go back clean at the moment, so these are called Z coils, or if you're a proper stickler for, you know, the Queen's English, Z coils. The Z coils. Um, still sound a lot more um, single coily to me than humbuckers, you know. But not uh, as, as, as single coily as this no. one. No. It's the. It's not. Got, it's not got the treble, has it? No. And you got this little magic switch here. Uh, which uh, in the neck position brings in all three pickups. So you go. And in the bridge position, just brings the neck. So you've got these two. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it's got the passive treble and bass system in, same as Pete mentioned. Got the, the dual fulcrum trem system. I've got one here with a Caribbean rosewood neck on it, but you can buy uh, maple if you want to. Oh, that's great. Uh, light speed. I could hardly hear myself there, Pete, so I don't even know if the notes I was playing were correct or it not. It sounded awesome. Uh, we're still in upstairs, downstairs mode, yeah. uh, so everything I'm hearing from my board and from Pete's sound is mixed into my headphones. But yeah, yeah it's a weird experience. It is. It's 
Um, you. I love this color. I mean, I think Fender do or have done we have this kind here. of copper. Oh yeah, that's right. We did do, but it's not as bright, is it? It's no, it's downstairs. It's browner. Down here. Um, I like it's it. Beautiful. I like it a lot. For uh, this one as well, man. Honestly. Apparently, the Comanche was the last double cut guitar that Leo designed before he passed away sadly so there's a little bit of um wow well there you go <laughs> there we go what a legend anyway lee shall we say goodbye let's, I think let's say goodbye had enough of us this was definitely not meant to be a 45 minute video and has absolutely become a 45 minute video <laughs> Uh, I do apologise. <laughs> it was really just an excuse to get some guitars that we thought looked cool yeah. uh, and play them. This is so awesome. You want to jam out, Pete? Or? Yeah, let's do yeah, it. Okay. Let's do it. Everybody, let's play links rock. are below. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe out there. Yes. And alert. And uh, we will see you in the video. Stay alert. <laughs> Bye. One, two, one, two, three, and go.